All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a freshman in high school, and they were doing like this um, this competition, and this guy at my school was playing and singing, and he was from Hawaii, and he, his whole family had been playing ever since he was little, and he was just singing, and it sounded so beautiful, and so I just knew that I had to keep playing it, and the more I learned... Um, the more I fell in love with it. So, yeah. I think I was in the first or second grade. When I first, um, I guess, noticed the ukulele. I mean, I've always seen people playing it, but it was at that time we had a Kamaka concert. It belonged to my auntie, and she um, let us borrow it. So I'd always pick it up and try to play it. I didn't know how to play it. And then finally... In uh, third grade, we had an ukulele class, and I was like, hey, you know, I can finally learn how to play ukulele. So a lot of the things in that class were, I guess, a little on the basic side. And uh, my dad was, if I remember correctly, he picked it up and he's like, oh, this is how you, you know, you want to learn this song. I think it was, you know. One of the first songs I learned, there's this one vamp that he taught me. That was it. Something like that. And I practiced that like a million times because I was just so fascinated. On um, a lot of the techniques that were involved and the, the, the overall sound of it kind of had like a nice Hawaiian style um, sound to it. But from that time, from like second and third grade is when um, I've been fascinated with ukulele since then. I've been playing like every day. I don't know, and they're like flying off of the shelves basically.
played sports at an early age, uh, baseball to be more uh, precise. Um, and then I ended up getting injured one during this one practice. And my my coaches told me, Kalei, you can't play for a while. You got to sit out for the rest of the year and just focus on, on healing up. And, and I was kind of devastated. But, you know, my parents asked me if I would want to try music and find you know another hobby to kind of just more of a substitute for baseball at the time. And so, you know, we chose the ukulele because a lot of my family members um, all know how to play. Um, at least everyone knows how to play one or two chords on the on the ukulele. And so we started off with classes. Um, and I remember I went to my first ukulele class and they, they handed out ukuleles for us to just borrow. It wasn't exactly ours. And it was just a, you know, a cheap um, laminated Hilo ukulele, which a lot of us, uh, you know, the ukulele players around my age kind of start off uh, with one of those ukuleles. And, you know, even though it didn't really sound so good, but once I found out that I could play a single chord like C major, and then that was when I was just head over heels for the instrument and ever since then it's been something that I just kind of pursued over the years because I just love to play and now here I am you know fast forward you know, 17 18 years later and I'm still playing and I'm very lucky to be able to do this as a profession and it's it's fun um, not only just being a performer but working here at the ukulele site as well is been a great experience because I get to meet these people who are passionate about the ukulele or even meet people who are curious about this instrument and wants to you know dabble a bit in, with seeing how they, if they like it or not and so it's been great it's been a, a, a blessing to me and I'm just very thankful to be able to you know help people experience the happiness that comes with the ukulele it's great Growing up, sitting on my neighbor's uh, fence that divided the two of us, uh, I got my first ukulele when I was six. He got his about the same year, and we used to just sit out there and jam together. It's just a lot of fun, like childhood memories with the ukulele. servicing you know martins and taylors and all of those and, and building some on the side but then um i remember led ka'apana coming by and just blowing my mind and then um lyle ritz was coming by super incredible jazz ukulele player um, chino montero just incredible ripper actually with chino i just wish there was more recordings of him uh, playing ukulele because he was just amazing but um right around that same time Tracy Chirata was coming by and he was producing the Pure Heart albums and Tracy's an awesome player too but introduced us to Jake and everything and so just seeing the caliber of players and what they were doing with the instrument really um opened my eyes to the serious nature of the instrument and made me realize that um, more super high quality 
ukuleles should be made and, and provided for musicians to get their hands on these things because um, when they when they did it was just a magical thing and so that's kind of been my pursuit ever since and you know we have a amazing group of people our team here at the ukulele site is just awesome and you know we're gonna just keep doing our best to bring you guys the best in ukulele and I, I gotta say I feel super grateful to be a part of this community and with you guys and um, we're here to help you on this journey so mahalo for your support and aloha see you next time Thank you.